Fashion icon means that I am unapologetic about what I wear. I will wear what makes me feel good and I feel that is the movement I want for everybody. Hi, this is Hussain Rizvi from Khalid Times and today we are joined by Safa Siddiqui, the popular face from Dubai Plain who is also a fashion icon. So Safa, you know recently I re-watched The Devil Wears Prada and obviously the fashion world as it's portrayed in the film, it's brimming with energy. But as a fashion icon, you mentioned, how is the world on that side? I feel honestly the fashion world has changed a lot since Devil Wears Prada. I feel it's a lot more inclusive right now as well and also it's for everybody and everyone's energy can be translated into fashion. So whatever their mood is for that day or whatever they feel, I feel that that's why fashion is evolving and it's getting better and for everybody. And you said you're a fashion icon, so it holds a lot of weight, you know, that term. So what does that mean to you? Fashion icon means that I am unapologetic about what I wear. I will wear what makes me feel good and I feel that is the movement I want for everybody. I want them to wear whatever they feel. It doesn't matter their shape size, it doesn't matter how tall they are, it doesn't matter anything. It should, they should wear what they feel like wearing and this is what I, I do. What's the importance of social media in your life right now? Wow, social media has taken up so much of my life recently and you know obviously before Dubai Bling we were very private people and suddenly there's been all this kind of uh, attention and um, excitement on my social media. I'm so grateful for it because you know I have an amazing community who I connect with and it's also very nice because I've suddenly got my my mojo back you know because I had my babies and you know like connecting with other people in the world you know creating content it's actually really exciting and it's just it's giving me life actually I really love it and surely it gets challenging your uh, mother to two beautiful children so how do you juggle between being a mother and a social media and a fashion fashion item the way I manage my kids and my social media is to combine them. <laughs> I use my kids. Honestly, I try not to put them as much, but I do also involve them because they actually, like Alina especially, the older one, she really enjoys, you know, dressing up and doing mummy calls, photo shoots. So I, I you know, I combine both worlds and um, obviously my kids and my family are my priority. And the beauty of social media is that I can be very flexible with what jobs they take, which content I want to put out there. So I'm my own boss, which I really enjoy. Uh, talking about Dubai Bling, you said it. you were very private people before uh, the show. So what kind of change did it, uh, what kind of change happened in your life after Dubai Bling? So from absolutely being able to walk out of the house and anything I wanted, to suddenly now I have this pressure to kind of at least look civilized. So I think that was the biggest change. Um, you know, like for me as well, a lot of people have been so nice and supportive and you know they feel like they know you and obviously sometimes you're like oh but I love 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 everyone that I get to meet and all the opportunities I've got it's just absolutely amazing. Well you said you were very private people before but you know a reality TV show always uh, captures the even the uh, most private moments like you know not uh, so did you like feel in any way intimidated by all of that? Of course I was so nervous doing the show, honestly, because I had no expectations. I honestly don't even know what made me do it. Like, I just, I don't know, I was up for the challenge and I thought, okay, you know what, maybe this new opportunities will come along. And I just, like, of course it was like, it's very nerve wracking. I remember like going into the interview rooms, just like, you know, pulsating because I was like, oh my God, what am I going to say? What if like, you know, what if I say something? And I always say something controversial, so I know this is going to happen. It's just that I was just, you know, it was very nerve wracking, but I'm just happy that most of it is love. The feedback has been mostly love. Obviously there's haters, but most of it's love. So I'm super grateful for that. And uh, talking about fashion, um, what about uh, the fashion you like versus the fashion the wider audience likes? So how do you deal with that? How do you bring um, those two together? I don't say that my fashion is always relatable, um, but it should be inspiring, you know, because, you know, even if you don't feel like wearing exactly what I'm wearing, maybe there is something that you like from my hairstyle or from the kind of makeup I'm doing, or, you know, the, there is some elements that everyone can kind of take into it. And, you know, my friends always laugh like, oh, look, Safa, I'm doing a Safa vibe today. And they kind of show me that they've put something that kind of reminds them of them. It could just be a color. It could just be pink, you know. So I feel that, you know, if I, as long as I'm inspiring people, that's great. 
and um, what's next for you? Right now, I'm working on a new collection and I'm working on something else as well and obviously just, you know, I'm, I've got my hands full with two kids and a husband and also a fashion line and also my social media, so I have a lot. I don't need extra stuff, but I'm, I'm very, very busy with all those things that are going on right now. Okay. Awesome, that'll be all from me. Thank so you so far. much.